given anything like fine weather tomorrow, main roads like this one in South Devon will see the first seasonal migration of the genus Grockel automobilis. The strange instinct which compels them every year at about this time to fly to the southwest is still a major source of study by experts like the police and the motoring organizations. But observers in the holiday trade noticed years ago that this annual invasion, beginning at about Easter, is as predictable a feature as the arrival of swallows in the sky or mackerel in the sea. The species is apparently multiplying. More and more of them are coming westward each year, some even dragging their own little homes with them all the way. But observers have also noted over the years that one small subspecies which affected their migration by train is very much on the decline, driven out by the sheer persistence of the motorized variety, rather as grey squirrels drove out the red. This variety, once numbered in millions, is now thought to be an endangered species likely to become extinct. It's all a question of changing environment. There aren't so many railways as there used to be, of course, and the roads are overcrowded. This suits the motorized grockle admirably. A well-known characteristic of their gregarious nature is a strange compulsion to go where all their mates are going. And so the mysterious and little understood instinct which tells them that the roads of the southwest will be choked with traffic serves only as an added attraction. And now after good conditions in the winter breeding grounds around London and the Midlands last winter, the species is beginning to answer that primeval call to flock together in the southwest of England. A call as primitive and compelling as the flight of the snow goose. And what will the grockles find this year after their long journeys from the inland wilderness? They'll find this year a veritable haven of enchantment. For one thing, most of the roads are up. Long trenches scar the trunk routes. Temporary traffic lights forcing them to travel in single lanes dot the highway at regular intervals. There are detours and bottlenecks galore. Some strange mischance of nature has provided the grockles with all the environmental factors that they thrive on. This Easter marks the first tentative exploration by the grockles away from their inland homes. But all the conditions they require for complete and utter chaos on the roads are here waiting for them in the southwest. Environmentalists are just a little bit anxious that the conditions are so good this year that it could bring about a plague of grockles. But then they try to look on the bright side. It's a rain all over the bank holiday.